by Vlad Kodosarevich, who has done the work so far. So I'm speaking for him and his work today about emerging labs. Um, so, uh, uh, what are the goals of the emerging labs? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, emerging labs uh, is an ICAM outreach activity uh, currently in its final phase, although that phase is uh, towards its end, or maybe it's at its end right now. Uh, and according to this uh, uh, initiative, uh, originally the National High Magnetic Field was its uh, major hub for, uh, for this outreach activity. Uh, so the, uh, the goal of that is to connect uh, scientists and teachers from various uh, high schools in the country and elsewhere in getting the students interested in science and excited about science. Uh, in particular, the, this is a complementary and uh, not, uh, not uh, in conflict with uh, uh, Quartnet, so the complementary nature of that is that uh, we are interested in, in emergent behavior in matter and society to be the main educational um, focus for the outreach program. Uh, one of the main products of this activity was and is to develop what uh, is called modules, which are organized documents for uh, a particular, say, idea or experiment. And this is developed not just by a top-down approach, by, but more like a bottom-up, where teachers get involved and students in order to develop these documents to demonstrate. I'll give you an example in a few minutes of what, we might, what is meant by these modules. Uh, why? I mean, why is there such a pressing need right now? Is uh, first of all, there is no condensed matter uh, so of a representation of this outreach activity worldwide, and it's very important to understand it through this uh, concept of the emerging matter and behavior. And also, there is a pressing need right now because of this change thing that was associated with the stimulus program of the new administration. Uh, his, let me just give you a few uh, points about the history of this project. Uh, first, the, this, as I said, the work net with uh, Bardeen, Mark Bardeen, uh, is there in place for high energy physics. And it has a network of 55 nodes. So David uh, Times, in 2004, I was funded for a pilot phase of what he called a supernet, uh, which is basically analogous to this uh, work net pro project. So uh, the Magnet Lab became the lead node of total five nodes involved in the uh, pilot phase. Vlad, who was supposed to give this talk, and Greg Bobinger, the Magnet Lab director, became the two main uh, carriers of this idea at the Magnet Lab. Um, a person at the Magnet Lab who is the outreach uh, head person, Pat Fiction was involved in this, and then uh, workshops uh, were organized uh, where uh, a particular, what we call this concept also, there's a, lead, a concept for a lead feature in this activity. Brian Mac McLean was identified and they developed a few of these teaching modules. Now, as David mentioned, there are parallel efforts of at Colorado by Ivan, who is going to talk about those. We split the time, I think 10 minutes, myself and 10 minutes will be Ivan. And then uh, Paris uh, has very significant efforts on this. And so uh, now the problem is at the phase where we are supposed to write a grant proposal in which uh, the, the High Magnetic Field Lab, uh, in partnership with uh, Colorado, uh, 
and in collaboration, not as, uh, as PI, but uh, as, a, as a collaborator from, from Paris, uh, will be involved in this proposal. Um, so, what are the so far actions of the Michael Fila? First of all, uh, there is a lot of experience at FSU uh, with outreach in, the, in Florida through the uh, K, what we call K through 12 program, uh, the research experience for teachers, and research experience for undergraduates. And we have uh, several out annual open houses for physics and at the management lab. Uh, and in fact, we also have courses for teachers that we have established. And we send various faculty members at various places in, in the state to teach and uh, teach uh, uh, high school teachers. The reason why high school teachers are interested in, in such a thing is because they get a credit for what's called educational credit in Florida. Uh, so this is going through uh, teachers' workshops and where there is this module development and meetings were organized uh, where and parties from the Fermilab Fortnet program, Ohio State, Rutgers, and France, and David from UC Davis were involved in participating in these uh, meetings. Um, one of the steps to go forward was to identify a lead teacher, and his name, as I mentioned, was uh, McLean. And uh, he will develop. He developed uh, several of these modules in connection with, in collaboration with teachers in the various uh, workshops. Uh, and uh, as I said, uh, some, a few workshops uh, were uh, organized. And the idea of this is that uh, uh, it's not a top-down approach, but rather a bottom-up approach, where input from teachers and students is selected through these workshops and examples of these modules, uh, there are two examples, two very nice examples that have been developed. One is named the superconductivity treasure hunt and the might in effect demonstration. Uh, but, uh, but now uh, the uh, pilot phase is more or less over and uh, there is an effort going on right now to develop a grant proposal for these e labs. And uh, in this proposal, uh, we are to discuss uh, efforts at the uh, FSU National Time Magnetic Field Lab uh, and uh, the efforts at Colorado, and uh, also those in France, in Paris. Uh, what will be the activities of this proposed organization? Uh, so there's going to be this concept of 12-month fellowship for teachers, and Ivan is going to uh, talk to you about another idea involving graduate students. Uh, but this first idea is uh, about having a 12-month fellowship for teachers. Um, and uh, there's going to be steps for following this program, uh, you know, when to be advertised, when uh, the workshops will take place, and uh, what will be the content of these workshops. Um, and there's going to be a mini grant, of, mini grant opportunity for classroom implement, implementation that will take uh, a few months. That will be, take about one semester for that uh, implementation. And. Uh, uh, project, this project manage, management business is one of the most uh, difficult parts to uh, uh, to to, uh, to write, 